Alright, this is a video on my CD collection. As you can see, I have quite a bit, so let's get right into it. Uh, first, I'm going to go over some albums that I didn't buy, I just happened to obtain. Uh, first, we have the original version of The Wall by Pink Floyd. Uh, this camera won't focus for shit, I don't know why. But uh, it's 1979, original pressing. Yeah, pretty rough shape, but, you know, original. Uh, Guitar Hero 3 Companion Pack. I bought this for the DLC pack that at the time you could only get by purchasing this, but now you can just download it on Xbox Live, but whatever. Uh, 60 Minutes of Red Rider. I'm not too familiar with this band. Uh, White Hot's a good song, I know that. And uh, Lunatic Fringe. That's on Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock for any Guitar Hero fans. So yeah, pretty good songs. Uh, Heart, Greatest Hits. Some good songs on here. Uh, Crazy on You, live version of Barracuda. Magic Man, Heartless, Straight On. Pretty good songs. Uh, Foreigner, four. There's only two songs I know, uh, Jukebox Hero and Urgent. I didn't really listen to that. I don't. I didn't really listen to any of these, really. I, I heard this one uh, yesterday for the first time, Korn. First album. Not a fan. I didn't really like it. I didn't like any song. In fact, the only Korn songs I ever liked are Freak on a Leash and It's Falling Away From Me. Anyways, on to the albums that I did buy. A uh, remastered version of Pink Floyd The Wall. Nice artwork. Uh, this was 2011. Uh, Dark Side of the Moon, I just bought this recently actually. And it's the remastered version, so 2011. Pink Floyd, I can't really say any, anything else about it. It's good music. My Chemical Romance, Black Parade. I'm a big fan of this band. It's a shame they broke up. Uh, this has a lot of great songs, you know, like Dead, Welcome to the Black Parade, uh, Mama, Famous Last Words. Oh yeah, in the end, the first song. That's a good song. Yeah, pretty good album. System of a Down, Toxicity. I'm not the biggest System fan, but they have some pretty good songs. Uh, this one is Chop Suey, Toxicity, and Aerials. Those are some big hits. I also like Science. That's my favorite song by them. I don't know why. Uh, Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. Sadly, it's the only Iron Maiden album I have. But it's also my favorite. Children of the Damned, Number of the Beast, Run to the Hills, Hallowed Be Thy Name. A lot of classics on there. Def Leppard, Pyromania. I think this is considered to be like one of the best albums ever or something. I don't know. I haven't really listened to it yet. I know there's some good songs on there. Photograph, Foolin', Rock of Ages. I'll have to listen to that again. Uh, Def Leppard, Hysteria. Uh... Some pretty good songs on there. Animal, Pour Some Sugar On Me, Hysteria. I have to listen to that again, too. It's been a while. Kings of Leon, Only By The Night. I'm not a, really a fan of Kings of Leon. The only songs I like by them are on this album, which is funny. Like, I like Crawl, Sex On Fire is okay. And I Want You is a pretty good song, so... Dream Theater, self-titled album, their newest one. I actually have not listened to this yet, so I'm going to get around to it, hopefully. I'm not a big Dream Theater fan, but I don't know. Hopefully I like it. Uh, Skyfall single, I'm a big James Bond fan. This is just uh, the song Skyfall in an instrumental version. Got it for like five bucks. And uh, Best of James Bond, 50th Anniversary Collection. It has uh, the theme song from every single movie, except for Skyfall. Pretty cool. Uh, 
for. Uh, Dr. Dre, 2001. I know it's kind of a weird album, but I don't know. I do like some rap. There's a few songs I like on here. Uh, Still Dre, what's the, uh, what's the Difference, Forgot About Dre. Yeah. Queens of the Stone Age, Light Clockwork, their new album. Pretty good album, I have to say. Uh, some standout tracks, I Sat by the Ocean, My God is the Sun, Colopsia. A pretty good album. Dillinger Escape Plan, One of Us is the Killer, their newest album. Really, really good album. My favorite one would be the title track. Uh, Blink-182, Enema of the State. Uh, I believe their third album. There's some good tracks on here. Uh, Aliens Exist, What's My Age Again, Adam Song, All the Small Things, Party Song. Blink-182, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. Uh, pretty good album. Probably uh, my second favorite by them. This one has The Rock Show, First Date. Uh, Anthem Part 2, some pretty good songs. Oh yeah, it has hop, uh, Happy Holidays, You Bastard. Which is fucking hilarious. Uh, Blink-182, Greatest Hits. Basically all their greatest hits there. I'm hoping to get uh, their self-titled album, which is my favorite, but I can't find it anywhere. Hopefully I do eventually. Uh, Van Halen, the first album. I'm a big Van Halen fan, surprisingly. There's not a single bad track on this album. Running with the Devil, Eruption, You Really Got Me, Ain't Talking About Love, I'm the One, Jamie's Crying, Atomic Punk, Feel Your Love Tonight, Little Dreamer, Ice Cream Man, and On Fire. Every single track is amazing. Uh, Van Halen 2. Self-explanatory. There's uh, some pretty good songs on this one. Light Up the Sky is an underrated classic. And Van Halen 1984. Standout tracks. Uh, Jump, Panama, and Hot for Teacher. I'm looking for Diver Down and... Uh, Fuck, what is it called? Fair warning. Can't find them anywhere. In Flames, Horacle. I love, I really, really love melodic death metal, and this is one of the best bands for it. Uh, some good songs. Jotun, Gyroscope, Jester Script, Transfigured. And the title track. In Flames, Colony, my favorite In Flames album, Deluxe Edition. Uh, Embody the Invisible, my favorite song by them. Scorn, Colony, Zombie Inc. is amazing. Behind Space 99, The New World. And bonus track, Man Made God, which is a really good instrumental. Uh, move on to my Nirvana collection. We got Nevermind, original copy. I should have had this one in my uh, pile of the ones I didn't buy, because I didn't buy this, I just, you know, found it. I don't know where it came from, but, you know, it's never mind. it's one of the greatest albums ever. Once again, uh, not a bad track on that one. Uh, what comes next? Oh yeah. Incesticide, Nirvana. Quite an unusual album. I listened to it for the first time the other day. It's pretty good, but some songs are fucking weird. In Utero. Not a fan of this album, surprisingly. Uh, it has some good songs. You know, Heart Shape Box, Rate Me, All Apologies, Dumb. But, uh, couldn't really get into it. MTV Unplugged. Nirvana. Some really good unplugged versions, like the About a Girl is probably the best version of the song. Uh, there's a lot of covers on here too, like Lake of Fire, which is pretty cool. We got uh, 
got this Nirvana, which is a compilation hits. I'm looking for Bleach. Hopefully, I find it someday. That's the first album. Uh, what's next? Go over some Billy Talent, I guess. Billy Talent One, first album. They're a pretty popular Canadian rock band. The first album's the best. Billy Talent Two. Some pretty good songs. Not as good as the first, but really good. Billy Talent Three, which is I don't know, I really couldn't get into this one. There's some good songs like uh Devil on My Shoulder, Tears in the Wine, Pocket Full of Dreams, there's some good songs. And then their newest one, Dead Silence, which is pretty decent actually. But uh they kinda play surprise, surprise like fifty thousand times on the radio. It gets annoying. Uh let's go over my M M collection, which I don't listen to rap that much anymore, but if I do, it's usually Eminem. So here's his first album, Slim Shady LP. I'm not a huge fan of this album, surprisingly, but there's some good songs on it. Uh, Brain Damage, Guilty Conscience, Role Model, uh, Still Don't Give a Fuck As The World Turns, I'm Shady. Some pretty good songs. Now we have two different Marshall Maver LPs. Uh, they're both the exact same, it's just that the cover is different, but they're the exact same album. This is uh, the one I originally had, but I found this one like yesterday and I bought it. So yeah, I bought the same album twice, but this is actually one of my favorite albums of all time. It's in my top five, actually. I grew up listening to this, and there's not a single bad track on this album. Even uh, Remember Me, which is arguably the weakest, is still pretty good. So yeah, big fan of that. The Eminem Show. Uh, like the Slim Shady LP, I'm not the biggest fan. But there's some good songs. Uh, Soldier, White America. Uh, Till I Collapse. A lot of the songs are just radio hits, like Clean Out, uh, Clean Out My Closet, Without Me. Uh, Superman, you know. I'm not into the radio hits that much. Hear them too much. Encore. This album gets a little bit too much hate. There's some really good songs, like uh, Yellow Brick Road is amazing. But then you get stuff like Just Lose It, Big Weenie, Ass Like That, like really terrible songs. Uh, the title track's pretty good too. And the bonus disc is really good. We As Americans is actually one of the best songs he's ever done. In my opinion, uh, Curtain Call the Hits, just a uh, greatest hits album. Yeah, Relapse. This one's actually not too bad. I mean, there's some really shitty songs, just like Encore, but there's some good songs like Underground and uh, Bagpipes from Baghdad, Insane. Uh, still looking for Recovery, even though it's a steaming pile of shit. I want to get it for the collection. Alright, Green Day, we have Dookie, one of my favorite albums of all time, not a single bad track, even uh, When I Come Around, which is the radio single, even I, uh, I'm not sick of it yet, which is surprising, yeah, not a single bad track, uh, I don't have uh, their first two albums or Insomniac, so next is Nimrod. Uh, this is another one I didn't buy. I just happened to obtain some pretty good songs on this one as well. This is also the album with uh, Good Riddance, Time of Your Life, which everyone seems to overplay. Uh, <clears throat> Green Day Warning. Very underrated album. Some good songs like uh, Church on Sunday. Castaway is fucking awesome. 